Hello everybody, this is Satya Malik, and today I'm going to show you two exciting models on modelplace.ai. The first one is for removing the background from a picture of a person, for example, in a Zoom application. And the second one is removing the background from the picture of a product, like a shoe photography uh, picture. So let's first try it out. And I'm also going to show you how to use these models in your Python application using our very easy to use cloud API. We are providing sample code so that you can integrate that sample code in your own Python application with just a few lines of code. So let's go over the model first and see how it works. Now you click on this and it brings you to this page where you have the option of testing this model. This is a beautiful feature I like about modelplace.ai. For every model, you can actually try it out without actually downloading any piece of code. And we will see how to use it in your own application, but the more important thing is that you can actually use it without, uh, without ever downloading any code. So we are going to try it out on this image. It is a picture of a man who wears many hats. Um, just to give you an idea, uh, let's click on it, make it a little bigger. So you can see that it is a picture of me wearing a hat um, in a beach. Uh, the background is uh, you know, kind of uh, overcast. Pretty unusual for San Diego, but that's what it was that day. And um, we are going to remove the background completely. So let's upload this picture right here. We drag and drop and it just quickly gets uploaded and in just a few seconds, you get the result back. As you can see here, the background has been completely removed. We had an ocean in the background. There was an uh, overcast sky. We had the ocean, we had the beach. Everything is gone and all you see is me without the background. And of course, with this, you can download the image. It would be a PNG, uh, a transparent PNG, and you could put any other background if you so desire. Now let's go back to the other example where uh, we are going to remove the background of product images. And here we are going to show you an example with uh, two different kinds of shoes. Let's try two different kinds of shoes, but it will work for handbags uh, also. These are red shoes that I had bought right before the pandemic, so that you know when I, I, I had a conference or something, I would go and um, with these nice shoes, never happened. I've been wearing these shoes under my table while giving talks at conferences. Uh, just to give you an idea what this shoe looked like, it was this shoe. The background is simple and this model works for product photography. Uh, so you can have a slightly more complex models, but it has not been trained on arbitrarily complex models. So it's expected that you're taking something like a product photography. So this is the red shoe that we had uh, in the example. And you can see that this uh, background was completely removed. So pretty decent results, pretty good results actually. Uh, we can try another example. We can upload my other shoe also, <laughs> uh, just while we are at it. Uh, so this is a white shoe and I'll tell you why I picked this specific example. So when this returns, you will see that this has finer structure than the previous example. Uh, for example, in this case, you can see the, uh, I don't know what this thing is called, but. Uh, the lace-like structure on the back of the shoe. It was retained and you get a nice cutout of the shoe. Just to go back to the original image, this is what the shoe actually looked like. I have to move it to the screen. Okay, so you can see that it was uh, not a very complex background, but you know, uh, it makes, the idea is that you take these pictures with reasonable backgrounds and then we are able to remove the background completely as you can see here and you can download the image as a PNG. Now wouldn't it be nice if you could do this not by, um, by uploading it to this website which is great for trial and error but 
once you have decided on a model, you want a cloud API that works uh, seamlessly. So let's see how that is done. We have shared this code um, right here on opencv-ai slash opencv-blog. This is our repository where we have all the, uh, all the code. So to do this, we first need to go to our repository, which is at opencv-ai slash opencv-blog. Once you go there on GitHub, you will be able to simply clone the repository. So you basically copy this, and as you have done probably numerous times, you basically uh, git clone this repository. Uh, you just hit enter, and then you can git clone this repository. I'm not going to go over this. And once you go inside the repository, the instructions are all there. You can actually see you basically go inside model place dash cloud API dash Python. And once you go inside that, all the requirements are clearly listed. So we have also already cloned the repository. We have already, you go into that specific directory and basically you install all the requirements for this project. As you can see in here, it's the standard way of installing all the requirements using pip. We can simply use this command here, python3 main.py, and then we give the email address and the password. Um, so this is basically required to authenticate you as the user, and to get the email and the password, you basically need to register on modelplace.ai. And the password you use there, this is the password you pass in here, and the email address that you have used on modelplace.ai registration, that's the email you use right here. And then we have to mention the model ID. Where is this model ID? Let me go back to uh, this model. And if you check out the URL, you will see that it ends with the ID of the model. In this case, it is 48 and the model for background subtraction for people is model 47. So this is the ID that we need to pass with this API. So you can see uh, that in a, in, a, in a moment I will show you that we pass this. And minus F is for the input file. So with minus five F option, you put in the input file that you want to process. As we had seen before, we are going to use the uh, the image file of me in at the beach and also the shoe images. So let's let's just see how uh, they work. So I have already used it before, as you may have imagined. So we are going to use Python 3, as you can see here, main.py, that's calling the main function with my email address, which is blurred out, and the password, which is also blurred out, and then we are specifying the model ID, which we know is 47 from the URL. And we are specifying the file that we want to process. And then we hit enter. And in just a few moments, you will see the results. And in this case, we are storing the results in results slash visualization.png. Let's just uh, open that file, results visualization.png. And we have seen this before, so it's going to be the exact same, uh, exact same file. So it's a PNG file where you, uh, there is transparency, and in this case, uh, I'm showing the transparency using, uh, using this uh, you know, gray uh, background, but it's a transparent PNG. So let's try it on the other shoe image. So so this one, you can notice that I'm actually passing in the model ID to be 48, which is for the product image, and I'm going to sh pass in the red shoe image. And in just a few moments, we will get our answer back. Again, 
for visualization. We can check out the results here. And you can see that it has removed the background just like before. Now, what's, if, what's inside uh, this Python code? It's actually very simple. Let's go and check it out. Um, if you have ever used uh, Python for making any HTTP request, this uh, should be very simple code. First of all, in the main function, uh, we are pretty much doing nothing. We are basically using uh, org parser to parse all the arguments and then passing it to the other file, which is right here. So this basically is the model place cloud API. And you can pretty much read this very easily. It is a very standard way of making requests over HTTP. And if you look through this file, this is a very standard way of doing uh, things. So I'm not going to go over the details, but you can look at these files. It is all open source. And you can see what is going on inside, uh, this, uh, inside this code. Uh, just you know, 54 lines of code. Most of it is very standard boilerplate code that people write for making a request over HTTP. So that's all for today. We learned about two amazing models on modelplace.ai, and we also learned about their cloud API that we can use using, uh, using Python programming language, or you could also use uh, it with curl if you want. Um, if you want to know exactly how to use this with curl, you can go to this, um, this blog post, which explains how to use this with curl. So right here you can see how to use it. So uh, that's, that's all simple stuff. If you go and check it out, I'm 100% sure that you'll be able to figure it out. But if you are unable to do so, if you have any questions, please, please email us at the email listed below. Thank you.